Hi everyone, today is Saturday, the June 8th. In this video, I'd like to share about the topic Culations for patients with high iron level and what I will consider a patient with high or high ferritin level is the range closer to the 5 digits so typically it's about the at least 5,000 to the 10,000 ferritin uh, level range of course me myself is about 2,200 you can't consider it low but it's just not high when you look at the number it should be much lower it should, should be the 500 range but I, it, it is just how it is because of my need in transfusion every three weeks uh, accumulate that amount of this iron level my curators itself is not uh, not high dosage enough not good enough to reduce the amount of uh, the iron level that I already had that's why it cost me me my uh, this amount of ferritin just won't go any lower it is around that range 2000 mark and, and unless i take like five tablet or sg a day or more to to really reduce it lower if not i will be around that range uh, typically uh, sometimes go t above the 2000 mark will be lucky but i know like patient uh, some patients are a lot higher due to their transfusion need uh, the amount of you need of blood and also the the longer the time the patient have their tr transfusions uh, for maybe they start transfusion since like a uh, few months old so there's a longer time for them to accumulate that extra iron level that cause their range to to be higher than uh, normal people so the best curators uh, people will recognize uh, the thalassemia community or anyone who know about the curators will recognize the best curators curation in particular uh, the L1 ferroprome together with the Dashra infusions because the L1 of course target in getting rid of iron in the heart and the Dashra target best in the liver so two curators add up it get rid of iron quicker one in the get rid of in the heart and one in the liver just like the two best or some two person with the best something than one person with best in something so and also two different curators so uh, the, the so those patient with high iron level the doctor might advise uh, to increase in both L1 and Dashra so the level could be quickly reduced than just w the extreme of one uh, that's why uh, extreme of one that uh, Dashra let's say for example you are having so two curators is quicker than one to get rid of your total iron level so let's say for example, uh, the doc if you have wear, uh, one Dashra curators, the doctor will like put you to seven days a week with uh, the most uh, the most dosage you can go. Let's say four vials of Dashra, uh, but that's the that's the limit there already. That's the max you can go. But if there is two curators, you will put lightly uh, like less on it. Won't go to the extreme for two curators, but it bad. Uh, let's say that's for four days a week uh, with uh, four vials of Dashra and the L1 together with the three tablet of L1 every day of the rate has borne born benefit that one curators going to the extreme seven, seven days a week with four dosage of maximum uh, you, your body can take so that's why the L1 combinations uh, together with the Dashra could be the best and SJ itself is like not enough if you have really high iron level because it's just too costly and there's a limit of how much SJ you can take a day your weight and your, your weight and also the cost may take into effect even if there is a chance that you can take 5 tablet of the 500 mg the max you can go regardless of the cost let's say it's free the SJ but there's just still a limit, you know. Your body weight, you can't, you just, your body just can't break down that amount of the, the curation available. So you are not advised to take that many. So there's some patient uh, go go like L1 and SJ, but uh, that, uh, but that's for like really high case. But it costs so much more. So the typical case that I know of uh, for patient with high. Iron level are taking are the desperate infusions 
yeah, uh, some, some right, they have right, five digit kind of unlevel, they are on the long hours of the desperate infusion over like seven days a week. And I know like few patients even have to what be awarded in the hospital just to have their accumulations uh, overnight for those who are patient with very high uh, desperate infusion. I'm not sure why, why they need to water. They can do it at home 24 hours a, a, a week. Uh, that I know that some patient doing like, uh, they put their desperate on, on 24 hours a day yeah, and won't get rid of just so that their iron level will be the lowest, l lowest range in the town. No patient can surpass it because it, it gets like 24 hours of curation non-stop to, to really have the most uh, effective of course it did uh, affect your daily life so I think the most most advice uh, cul culation I can give is the desperate infusion uh, over the more days and also the dosage and also the longer hour the better then <coughs> Some patients will ask, or some people will ask, what is the best range for the desperate infusion? Uh, some may say 10 hours, some may say 12 hours for each session. I think any, anywhere above the 8 hours uh, will be the typical uh, desperate infusion time that I know of. Uh, I used to have the desperate infusion, so my time is about 8 to 10 hours. Uh, because that's the sleeping time, you can't go too far apart unless you have more time at home so you can infuse early then uh, get it removed uh, early in the morning before you start your day so that's about it uh, in this video just want to share with you the curation uh, for patient with high iron level I'm not getting not giving out any advice every patient uh, continue with their own uh, this curation the doctor will know best uh, for your personal case this is for ju just to let you all know and for those not non telecemia to know about more about the telecemia major patient with the uh, this unoverload so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next ones bye for now